All right, what's up, YouTube? Got something uh, a little bit different than usual. This isn't a folder. This is going to be more of a testing and, what? Well, not really bushcraft per se, but I'm going to call it outdoor gear review. Um, this is a comparison between the Mora Knives Companion. As you can see, this is well-known, well-loved knife in the community. And I'm comparing it to this. This is what Walmart calls Ozark Trail's bait knife. As you can see, there are some uh, very striking similarities here. And to me, that warrants a uh, review and test. This costs $3, like $2.80. So $3. Um, a more, you know, cost anywhere between 11 to 20 uh, We'll take a look at this right off the bat. Um, you can see car this is the carbon model, Swedish made, and it is obviously used. You can see I've sharpened it. I've added a little small choil. Just make sharpening a little bit easier, and you can use it also on fa small ferro rods. Um, I have modified the spine to make it 90 degrees as well. And you got plastic handles on both. This rubberized grip sucks or it, it feels cheap and it looks like it's already starting to peel apart and i haven't even used this thing yet but like i said this is a three dollar knife um it feels good it gets feels like a cheaper rubber i mean it obviously is they're both plastic uh mm. the more it just feels like it's a way denser plastic but, um, yeah, we're going to do a little testing. The, not so much the more I'm just, ha I have it here as a comparison. And while I'm here, I'll also show you the sheaths. More is not known for their, uh, uh, fancy sheath. It's just a plastic sheath that works really great. And this feels like a even cheaper plastic sheath. It, also works. Oh, move that piece. But see, it holds the knife in fairly well too. I haven't removed the sticker. Um, they both have little thumb ramps. The Morris is better. You can get a better purchase on it. Um, one neat little detail about Morris. See this hole right here? Uh, that allows you to slide it into a shirt button. And you can dangle it on your pocket. Let's see. Uh, I got a button right here on my wrist. Let's see if I slide it on there. No, it ain't gonna work. I ain't got enough. I'll show you with my uh, when I do the transition to the testing video here in a second. But the sheets are pretty similar. Again, the more it just feels like a better plastic. This just feels like a cheap plastic. But again, this is three dollars. What can we expect? So let's take it outside. Uh, I'm going to take you around back to my wood pile here in a second. We're going to put this thing to the test, see what we can do. Is it going to survive? If not, let's see. All right, we're out here at the wood pile, and uh, this is where we're going to do some testing. I got the knife right here. She's ready to go. All right. First, we'll do a little carving. This is wet wood, so we'll see how it carves wet wood. Let's see. Mm, feels like it's already getting dull. There we go. You can see that does some feather sticks. It's all right, not the best, but it's working. And this thing feels weird. Um, this handle is sticky. It's starting to get sticky, maybe from being wet too much. Uh, 
I'm close. Yeah, I mean, that's not awful, but the stickiness is kind of weird. Um, oh. Let's see how strong the tip is. Or no, no, let's baton it first. Let's see if it'll hold up to batoning. All right. It's a seasoned piece of oak. It's been raining today, so we'll see. But I got this rubber mallet. And <laughs> that happened quick. What more can you expect for $3? Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. Um, be back in a minute. I'm going to go get some pliers to... Yeah. All right, so I'm back. I'm gonna get, see if I get this out, a pair of pliers. It lodged in there. Let's see. This is weird. See, almost like it's a seam in the middle, like it's two pieces. Uh, how about that? Here's to show you why you shouldn't always cheap out on gear. Obviously, I wouldn't want to use this as something I would trust. Over here, let's see. It'll go back in the handle. See if I hammer it into the. That's crap. But, yeah. Yeah, I would, I would not trust this. This is why you don't buy cheap shit. I was really hoping I was, it was gonna last longer than it did. Um, yeah, that's pretty bad. Yeah. That was worth it for three dollars to be able to break something, but uh, take you back inside here in a second and we'll look at the damage better. All right, we're back looking at the damage. Uh, obviously, you can see it's not a two piece knife, you got handle, and you got this pot mount blade, whatever it's made out of. Um, quick little test. I didn't show on camera, but I did try before I broke it. This will throw sparks on ferro rod, so I'm going to safely hold the back back here and use the tip. I did this earlier. I wouldn't. This didn't throw the best sparks in the world, but I guess it throws them. It's better than nothing. I dropped the name. Um, I wouldn't, but not even for $3, just against a good way to hurt yourself. Um, I wouldn't even get, this is like a first knife for a kid. I would get spend $10 and get a Mora, not even a companion. There's a whole lot of, there's a whole plethora of different models they can get. Just don't get this. Please don't get this. You could end up hurting yourself. This is just crap. Don't even know what steel it is. My guess, three hundred something in a three hundred series stainless, which that's not even suitable. And you can really see they really try to copy the profile of the Mora. And see, it's thinner too. This isn't the heavy duty. This is standard Mora. 
but yeah, don't buy this piece of junk. He's buy a real thick Mora. You'll be more happy. Um, yeah, that's about it. I mean, what else can you say? It's a piece of junk. Got the results I was I was expecting it to. I didn't want this to do good, so I was expecting it to do good, but it did as well as it should. I might do a part two to this. I might get another one and test it again. See if there's any, if it's consistently bad or if it's hit and miss. But uh, anyways, yeah, that's it. Thank you.